Hi everybody. Shoes. There's lots of different types of shoes, aren't there? There's some of mine. A pair of boots. And trainers. Flip-flops. Now, do you have to take your shoes off when you come indoors so that all your carpets don't get dirty? In some places, people have to take their shoes off when they go into the temple to pray. Our story today, God told Moses to take his shoes off. Now, do you remember last week how Moses had been found in the basket by the Pharaoh's daughter and she took him to live in the palace? As we begin our story this week, Moses has grown up in the palace and he's even married now. And one day he was out in the fields looking after his father-in-law Jethro's sheep. And suddenly he saw a bush on fire and it was burning, but it didn't burn up. It didn't disappear. So here's a picture of the bush burning up and not disappearing. That's strange, Moses thought. I'll go and have a closer look. So off he went. Why isn't the bush burning up? He came closer and God called him out of the middle of the bush. Moses, Moses. Here I am, Moses answered. Don't come any closer, God said. Take off your shoes. You are standing on holy ground. Now Moses was very afraid. You don't expect that every day, do you? God said, I've seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I've heard them crying. I know their suffering. Do you remember how the Israelites were slaves to the Egyptians and they made them do lots of hard work? God said, I've come down to rescue them. So now go, tell Pharaoh to let my people go. So Moses took his wife and his sons and he started back to Egypt. Now God told Moses he was on holy ground and had to take his shoes off because he was there. God was there with Moses. God can be with us too. Jesus said, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am with them. How great is that? Now how are you getting on with the memory verse? This week, Pete is going to teach you some actions to help remember it. This was spoken to Joshua, but it could have easily been spoken to Moses or us in this situation. So I thought it'd be good to put some actions to this verse, but I'm not very good with actions, so I'm hopefully you can help me. So let's go through it. So, have I not commanded you be strong? and courageous that's like a lion Arr. do not be afraid so do not be afraid do not be discouraged going back on yourself for the lord your god is with you wherever you go shall we try it okay let's try together have i not commanded you be strong and courageous do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And that's in Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. See you next week. Bye.